All right, people, today what I'm going to be doing is showing everybody how to gap a fine wire electrode spark plug, plug uh, properly. Um, one of the biggest problems people have is that they continually break off the electrode end uh, on the iridium fine wire uh, electrode. Um, and this is because it's a half a millimeter, people. Uh, half a millimeter, doesn't matter what metal it is. Uh, by applying too much force to that center electrode, you will break it off. Um, I can pretty much guarantee if you decide to use a coin gapper, you're going to regret it. Um, coin gapper is going to put force, it's going to put a side force on that uh, iridium electrode, and it's going to cause that thing to uh, break. You might get lucky with a few, but if you're doing something like a V8, uh, more than likely you're going to break off one of the electrodes on one of the plugs. Um, so how do you gap without a coin gapper? Uh, there are other coin, uh, there are other gappers in um, the industry people. We just have to know how to look for them. Uh, I'll show you how to do it on this Weapon X uh, spark plug. Uh, these are the plugs of choice for my GM V8 LS and my uh, Mustang. Um, but let me show you. Here I have a power belt. Uh, basically, uh, there's a bunch of feeler gauges in here, and then we have this kind of odd looking thing. Um, and I guess these different slots are for different electrode si sizes. But basically, what you have to do, and let's see if I can do this with two hands record. Um, I've got to get. Uh, give me one second, and I'll come back to you. Um, but basically, you have to get the opening wrapped around the electrode. A lot like this. So basically, you've got that electrode uh, wrapped around that slot. And now, by pushing down, I can basically cause that electrode to start moving up. So this is how you actually get the electrode to open up without having to put a force on that center electrode. See here? Now I just put a little downward pressure and basically it's going to cause that electrode to open up. Uh, that's how you get the electrode to open up on a fine wire. Uh, I'd show you but I can't really do it while recording. Uh, and basically once it's opened up, uh, you set it and if you're a little bit too big, uh, just take a piece of metal and start tapping down on the uh, on the ground electrode. Normally I'll just take a piece of steel and just start tapping and that'll close up your gap for you. So you use this to open up the gap, you use tapping motion to close the gap, and you will avoid damaging your nice expensive iridium spark plugs. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Uh, but that is how you properly gap and iridium spark plug. Bye.